Punch a crunch army. All right, today I'm going to show you guys the best high ground retakes that you can use to stay on top of your game and really win more fights. Come on now. Whether in battle royale or creative mode, man, you're going to see improvement. You guys ready for this? Let's get this going. So whether you're in an intense mid-game fight in a tournament or a casual 1v1, you need to know the best high ground retakes to always have the height over your opponent. High ground, guys, is by far like one of the most important factors in winning a fight, especially when your opponent has the same HP and resources as you. So a high ground retake is a combination of certain moves that allow you to gain the high ground over your opponent, which gives you a huge advantage. High ground, guys, allows you to be safe from being shot by anybody above you and allows you to overlook every player under you. This allows you to put heavy pressure against your enemies and forces them to use more materials and healables than you. Now, before we get into this, guys, you guys got to make sure to check out Clix's new master course like right now on ProGuys.com. We also have pro coaches tailored to help you improve quickly. Click the link below or top right to get started today. So now that you know why having high ground over your opponent is crucial, okay, here is some of the best retakes that you need to use. Okay, so all of these retakes are very protective and trap your opponent into losing high ground. All right, so to help you guys understand these retakes better, let's start off with the easiest retakes first, all the way up to the most advanced. You guys ready? I know you are, here we go. Bunch of crunch army. All right, first is the basic double ramp upwards with walls in your sides to protect you. Normally, we would call this an upwards ramp tart, but this time we only cover one side, which is the side your opponent is shooting at you from. To do this simple retake, all you have to do is place a ramp under you, then proceed to place a wall directly to your side, then upwards and in front of you, then placing a ramp right above you. After placing the wall in front of you, do a basic side edit so the wall doesn't and block you while you're still going up. So after doing this repetitively, you know, a couple of times, you know, get it down, combine it with a couple of side jumps and just change the direction you're going in to confuse your opponent. When you feel that your opponent is close enough to you, try to block them off with the Thawaiful Cone and then just crank up some 90s over them. All right, guys, for our second retake, this is where it gets a little harder, but I'm, I believe in you guys. I know you can do it. Here we go. This retake was made by Phase Doves and popularized by Phase Sway. All right, so to start this retake off, all right, place a floor and a cone right above the ramp that you're standing on. Edit the two right or left tiles of your cone and floor. Okay, so right after doing the double edit, turn and place a ramp. After, place walls to connect the ramp and place another ramp just below you. This allows you to quickly change which direction you're going, all while being fully covered from all sides. This retake is extremely useful for really confusing your opponents and it can really get you some really nice peaks. So when you place the ramp, like you can always make a side jump the other way, which baits your opponent into thinking that you were originally going where you placed your second ramp. So whenever you are in a low HP fight, like always do this retake since it really just gives you a huge low ground peak advantage. All right, guys, so following the previous retake, another small variation is the double edit side jump. All right, check this out. Okay. This time, place a floor and a cone above you, but only edit the floor's tiles, all right? This allows you to place a wall through the cone and really gives you support for an easy, protected side jump. Okay, after placing the wall in the desired direction, use your momentum to do an elevated side jump. This allows you to go up two stories very, very quickly, all while being protected. Quickly place a cone above you right as you jump and land on your ramp. And this move requires lots of momentum, guys, so watch your jump fatigue, all right? After landing, proceed with another side jump and just start 90. This is by far, like, one of the most optimal and, like, easy to learn retakes that most players use. All right, guys, so after doing another elevated side jump, just make sure that you quickly cover back before 90 or your opponent could get, like, easy shots on you while you have your back turned. All right, so another quick tip when trying to get to high ground as quick as possible is learning to do infinite 90s. So although high ground retakes are protective and confuse your opponent, they can also be slower and predictable in some scenarios. So to counter this, start off with a retake and just quickly start 90 okay? Since they're going to have to recover after you're done blocking them off. So infinite 90s are very easy to learn and really are just all about timing. 
So do two sets of triple 90s and do a normal 90 just to reset your jump fatigue, all right? You got this. Remember that. You got this. So one of the hardest retakes that you need to learn is the infinite protected side jump. Most of you guys know like what a side jump is, right? You know, a basic running jump to the side of a cone. With an infinite side jump, okay, you need to combine a wall side cone and make sure you never lose your momentum. This allows you to rapidly change directions with ease and leave your opponent in the dust. To do this, okay, start off with a basic side jump and make sure you have enough momentum to land on a ramp instead of a normal floor. And after landing on a ramp, place a cone on it, quickly turn back, and place a wall through the cone. This allows you to land fully protected, but you need to worry about side jumping again. After placing the wall and cone, just start running to the left side, as it's really just easier to keep your momentum by just going left. So keep practicing this, guys, over and over until you feel you have enough repetition to keep going for like five to six times in a row. All right, guys, so to recap this video, make sure to practice every retake and don't get demotivated. Get motivated by the fact that, you know, some may seem difficult, right? And, you know, just each retake has its own pros and cons. So make sure that you guys learn which is the best in each scenario. Practice is key. Watching videos like this one, it's going to boost you up there. I promise you. Until next time, my friends, man, keep grinding. Don't stop. Don't give up. I am your motivation guy and I'll see you soon.